hands up, don't you? Now, now it's the president of Penn State doing it, and a scene that's been repeated on Capitol Hill by the players of the St. Louis Rams. Now, ironically, it, it conflicts with grand jury evidence, certainly out of Ferguson, where uh, all the African-American witnesses say it didn't happen, that, that, that it never happened, that, 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 that the victim never did graze, that he was not shot from behind. Now, to be fair, there were a couple of white witnesses who, who said otherwise, but overwhelmingly the witnesses said it just didn't occur, yet it became fact, and it became just assumed, accepted reality. But it wasn't the reality. And attorney Lisa Giovinazzo says great danger in doing so. Troy Slayton disagrees. So you don't like what's been perpetrated here. No, not at all. I think that we really have to look at what this means, hands up. The universal language means I surrender, don't shoot. So using that as a symbol, I mean, there's a lot of political activists that are Well, what they're it. saying is, hands up, I was still shot. Well, exactly. And we're, 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 re, we're, we're rehashing all of the information that was provided to the grand jury. And the grand jury came out, and they came out with their decision. No true bill. There wasn't a probability that a crime was committed. And yet, this this hands up is damaging because it actually has a meaning. It's not just a symbol that's being used by people that want to support Brown's family. It has a meaning and it says that somebody was shot that surrendered and that's just not accurate and it could it could lead to a lot of problems. True. The hands up symbol and the movement that's now been developed uh, that's come out of this it's not just about Michael Brown. It's about looking into police practices, and that's a good thing. It's about examining whether police are using excessive force, sometimes deadly force, to effectuate an arrest. No, it's not, Troy. It's, it's about perpetuating that. a fiction, something that never happened. The overwhelming number of witnesses who testified before the grand jury said it never happened. I, I, I mean, you, you're just perpetuating a myth. You're perpetuating something that didn't happen, and now you're trying to grandize it to say, no, 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 we're making a far bigger statement here than just Ferguson. That was not the intention at all. Actually, freedom of expression, of freedom of speech, freedom of uh, these accurate, are things enshrined in our, in our Constitution. Freedom of expression, because a lot of impressionable kids are going to see that uh, and, and just say, well, that is what happened. The poor kid raised his hand, but he was still gunned down. And, and don't tell me that he wasn't shot in the back. He most certainly was shot in the back. And I could go on and on and on, and I just think it's dangerous. But well, and, and let's, let's look at it. Before the whole Ferguson incident, when did people do this? People didn't put their hands up. And, and that's the question. It's the whole definition, and what they're trying to get at is a lot of people out there that are protesting, they're joining these rallies, and there are people on the street, it just happened in Staten Island the other day, you ask them why they're here. Some people don't know what the hands up means. They don't even know the, the person that they're there to represent. Oh, I think they, I think they know. I mean, and, and Troy, you're a very smart lawyer, and I take nothing against you, your passionate views, and I, and I respect that, as I do you. But, I, my, but here's my concern. People will start looking at this and take as a given take as a given that this is what transpired in Ferguson, and they will take as a greater given, and maybe with greater excuse given the fact that this New York case was different, and many, many smart lawyers told me that this officer in New York should have been indicted. That's neither here nor there as much as the notion that, that it, it's, it's a rigged process, it's a racial process, it's that you can put your hands up and still get shot, or still get killed, or still get choked, or, or still have a heart attack because an authority pounced on you. And Neil. that, I think, is a very, very dangerous thing. Neil, the original protest in Ferguson, yes, was about Michael Brown. But the protest, the movement that we've seen sprung up all over this country, it's much bigger than Michael Brown. This is about... So why does, it extend to, why does it extend to that white Bosnian guy who, who uh, gets into a confrontation with some African-American kids and gets hammered to death? Uh, what, why not apply that? that he should stick up... What, what, uh, people should stick up a hammer in the air and just... Uh, just protest and rage. I mean, you, you're making this racial, even though you say it's not racial. What happened? What happened to that Bosnian is is horrible. But this or is the white teenager in New Jersey, the white teenager. I can Absolutely. go on and on. So why are you playing favorites with this? We need to be looking at the way that the police are using force, sometimes deadly force, to effectuate arrests.
and contact well, how about the, 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 how about the white police's slow response to both of the white incidents I just told but you about? But that's the point. You're using that's hands wrong. up now. And you're saying, but you're saying hands up now is an anti-police symbol, and it shouldn't be. That, that, that shouldn't happen. The hands up should not be anti-police. Hands up is a universal it's, symbol for I surrender, and it's taken on a new meaning, and you're empowering it by saying it's okay to utilize it in this way. And we're also, we're going back and we're rehashing and we're saying that the grand jury got it wrong, everybody that's doing this. And we have to respect the process. It's not gonna help just anybody. Just because you put your not. hands up, Lisa, just because you put your hands up and you have solidarity with the movement doesn't mean that you, you have think solidarity that the with a movement that's wrong. based on fiction. Quit saying that you have solidarity with, you have solidarity with a movement that, over something that didn't happen. That didn't happen. The, the movement is happening. There's I know no the movement, that that I know movement is built over. on a myth. Well, but that's the point, and the movement is built on a, a political right, activism. Guys, I wish we had more time. Case. I'm not even going to tease what's next, because I'm outraged by this. I want every American at home, I don't care what side you are on this, to step back, calm down, quit fanning flames. Let's just fan our minds and our thoughts, what is fair, what is right, what is decent, what is us. Stick around.